keep it simple. Respect your teachers and guides, but recognize that you are experiencing the presence of God here from yourself. And fall in love with that. And the more you fall in love with God, the more you fall in love with life, the more life will fall in love with you. The more you experience the magic. The less you fear, the less you judge yourself. Do you have any questions for me? Anybody? You can either wave at me or unmute yourself. Or write on the chat box and then we'll communicate with each other. It's not very difficult as it, sem as it may seem to be. I know a lot of us have years and years of a lot of stuff that has happened to us. Some of us have gone through very traumatic lives to get to where we're at. I understand that. And for some of you, it may be very difficult to say, well, how can I let it go? How can I do that? I know. But you can. Because support and help is here. Because you have come to the cross point in your life that transformation is available to happen for you you don't need to figure it out how you're going to do it you just available and it will happen just be available that's it it's all you do because a greater force will do it for you you just be available for it Okay, I have a few, a couple of people have sent different things to me. All right, so you are completely clear. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Beautiful. Thank you for simplicity and clarity of your realization. You're welcome. Thanks for communicating. Appreciate it. Okay, I have on a Facebook, um, I won't mention the name, but I am getting divorced. How can I follow God's energy when I am about to lose my children? All right, so someone on Facebook wrote that to me. <clears throat> when you are in a very tough situation like you're about to be divorced 
and you're about to lose your children and you feel like the entire world is going to end. Your life is about, that's how it feels. You're in such a dark place within yourself that life is going to end. Uh, one moment, please excuse me. I need to, uh, my Instagram ended. Just one second, let me redo this. And uh, I'm gonna run this again. I'm not trying to avoid answering your question. Just one second, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened here. Be patient with me, okay. When we are in really tough situations like this, so uh, you've been in, in marriage, uh, you're dependent, you all of a sudden going through a major turmoil like this and you may be losing everything and it seems, it feels like your reality, your world is crumbling down and it's very frightening. I completely understand that, my, my dear friend. And it's, you feel like someone sitting here and is telling you, oh, don't worry, everything is gonna be fine. And, and you may say, oh, well, yeah, it's easy for you to say that, but you're not in this situation. So you're not about to lose everything. So, um, but, this is the deal. The deal is that all of this world and this life that you were thinking that it's real and it's, which is your reality, wasn't really real to begin with. And when you come to a pivotal point like this is, if you can shift your, because I understand where you're at right now, but if you can for a moment, pull these glasses out and put them away. If you can do it for a moment, let me do it for like 30 seconds. If you can do it for one day and, <coughs> excuse me, put your new glasses on. So you put your story away and you put your new glasses on and you look at it from this point of view, is that regardless of how frightening everything is, that I'm gonna lose everything. For one moment, I will, I'm willing to put this away and I change and look at it. That what is God, what is life planning for me? What is it? I'm going to receive? Is it possible that what will be coming through this separation and this world, this bubble that I lived in, that I believe this is my life. I believe this is solid, which is obviously not because it's all crumbling down. I'm about to lose my marriage and my kids are taken away. But what's the value? What can I get out of this? What could be there for me? And if you're open to it, you will experience whether you like it or you don't like it because it's happening right now. And it depends on how much you're resisting it, no matter how frightening it is, okay? I understand it's frightening. I understand you feel like your life is coming to an end and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I get it. 